comes. Active for the wizards, keep on welcome to it. This is what we call teenagers on a mission, the best science and technology show in the land. Konala on your number one channel, SABC One. I'm Zanzi for sure. Niazin Dabi Hamaga Jamba Fits. For the next 30 minutes, it's going to be me, you, and Buntu taking you guys on a journey where we'll be teaching you guys all everything that is life, science, and technology. He about said it all. The Fetty Kamala Mdimu Buntu Abantu, and this right here is C A W D Y. Pronounce Caddy. Oh, you said it too nice and grand. I'm good. How are you? You're too fresh. I'm fresh, man. Are you excited for today's episode? I'm actually very excited. Okay, cool. Let's get into it now. Mm -hmm. So, guys, I'm going to have a school about a very special plant. It is on a wheat. What's your good wheat? It's all in the end. It's not. Well, I'm going to have a spoonful about it. It's good. Besides food, it's not all good. Food. Like, you're going to have a yeah. Like when you, when you, kong, kong, kong. The welcome mats. Welcome mats, yeah. yes. Yeah. Made from a wheat wow. product. Yo. Right? Mm -hmm. That's gonna handbags and like grass baskets, just yeah, things at the markets, you know. Don't forget cookies, mm -hmm. bread, mm -hmm. pizza. I mean, there's a lot of things that are made from wheat. And then I'm trying to say, I was talking about easy place in I mean, there's over 30,000 things. Wow. Okay, we're excited. So let's get on with it. Why are we still here? <laughs> So we're going to show a high-tech flour meal. So we exactly how wheat becomes flour. Check out the amazing machinery that is used. Find out what a combined harvester is. Who were the first people to make bread rise? Can wheat really be a wood and plastic? How much do you know about wheat? Okay, guys, you know the drill. We always start out with your opinions. Let's get this party started. Yo, it's time for social media, but fair to me, I go social media, I go to which products are made from wheat. We've got a tweet coming in from Ulelo Otsiena. I know that some face creams and snack bars are made out of wheat. And we also got a post coming in from Otabo Otsiena. Corn flakes. Corn flakes? I don't know about that. Maybe I'm a wheat big. <laughs> well, guys, we got a good team of products in Nenwazia that are made out of wheat. Hit us up on our social media pages on Facebook, CTOMZ, on Twitter, it's Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. Well, man, just have me to say, let's get a bubble to buy any wheat. No good things in this Ganjani. No good to cool a goopy. Let's go check that out. We still at it again, but face with our road show. And I'm trying to see the Aurora Girls High. And right next to me is a young, beautiful lady. So, I'm my question. Hello. Hello. I'm John. Yeah, Phil. Okay. Yeah, get right. Sure, sure. Hmm, get right. You mind with the law? Mora. Mora, okay, but you see, Benny. If flower, if we are going to plant. If flower, if we are going to plant. Yeah. <sighs> Sunny flower. Yeah, weed. Weed. Okay. Name it is in this few inches in the new weed. Okay, seeing what Nama with pigs. Yeah, bread. Okay. Uh, papa, sweet pigs, mm -hmm. bread. So, if you want to see ingredient, like I tell you, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I want to send a shout out to my mom. Hey, mom, uh, my baby, Zandile, my friends. Eh, Kamu, Kabelo, King King, hey, Kuku, my sister, and Sandanonke. Um, please watch its homes at SAPC One for sure. All right, okay, guys, we've told you a little bit about wheat. Kota Yona is so good, you got the girl. Let's find out. There are over 30,000 different varieties of wheat in the world. Gotra, the one thing they all have in common is the kernel. Meet the kernel. The kernel is made out of three parts. The harder out layer cursing the brain and the fiber, and it's made out of many layers. The germ is the smallest part and will grow into a new plant if placed in the soil. The third part is the endosperm, the part that is ground to make white flour. The oldest recording findings of cultivated wheat as we know it is dated back to around 9000 BC in the Eastern Iraq. By 5000 BC, bread wheat was being grown in the Nile Valley as well as in India, China, and even England at about the same time. The early Egyptians invented the use of ovens and rising bread in 3000 BC and developed baking into one of the first large-scale food production industries. Wheat was first grown in the United States of America in 1602 on an island of Massachusetts coast. Between 1850 and 1900, silk sleeves and squares and oblong baking tins arrived, making it easier to slice the bread. Hi, Shem. I say a young shout out to our ancient Egyptians. I mean, if it wasn't for them, we'd still be eating like a song is flat, you know? I suit it, you cool. Because many years ago, one bushel of wheat can actually make 42 loaves of bread. Yeah. 
care. Because okay, wheat is not just used to make isonga anymore. That's true, guys. Did you know, Oguti, if we could produce paper using wheat straws, it would actually cost us a third of what it does with trees. Wow. I know. Tell us what you think on our social media pages. Kona manje, suzuti, shelele, etol. Siya bui. Welcome back guys in Sabugele T O M Z Konalago S A B C One Mzanti for sure. If you can go join or you haven't missed much, Namcha is Kuruma about a very special plant, a by Bizanya wheat. And it's definitely a top crop. I crop top. <laughs> and it's so amazing to know that so much can come out of Indwing. Yo! The kernel. I know. So I mean there's cool. a lot of things that are made out of wheat. I mean cereal, cake, pizza, pizza cookies, there's so many things. Actually, I feel so hungry speaking about these things. <laughs> so guys, Zonkel is using a flower. So I'm going to use a flower. Let's go check this out. Let's go check this out. Let's go check this out. Zonkel is using a flower. Let's go check this out. All right, but gang, gang, we are touched down right here in Kruger's Dope. And Ninkuba and Amtanjike is all about the science of wheat. And you know, up at 2MZK, we do it big. So what better place to learn about wheat than at a giant wheat mill? Okay, guys, let me not waste any more of our time. But some bin. Thank you. Hello. My name is Andre Fisser. I'm the operations manager for Sasko Krugersdorp Mall. And you in the Westra in Gauteng today, um, coming to see wheat what, 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 and what we produce with wheat. All right, I can't wait to see. Yeah, great stuff, let's go. Buntu, welcome to the silo. This is the intake, this is where the process starts. This is where we receive the wheat for the first time and all the quality testing gets done. In terms of the grading process, there is a um, certain test that's conducted. For example, protein, moisture, hectoliter mass, as well as falling number. Um, you'll see now here is Kelly. Kelly's busy doing the testing. And as he do, is doing the testing, of course, he's observing the quality of the wheat as well. Okay. He's checking how much screenings there is in the wheat. Screenings, what, what, are, what are screenings? Wheat is a, is a natural ingredient, so mm -hmm. uh, apart from just the wheat that we receive, we also receive all the stones, the chaff, uh. the dust, the sand that comes with growing wheat. And, and unfortunately, we'll, we'll have to take care to take it out of the process because we want good quality flour at yeah. the end of the day. No one wants stones in their cake. For sure. <laughs> so, Buntu, let me show you all the impurities that comes in with the wheat. Okay. Okay. So, when the wheat enters our facility, um, this is what the wheat looks like when it enters. You can see that there's a lot of impurities that's not part, that not part of the process in case that we need to take out. So you can see there's a lot of sticks, uh, part of the wheat plant that's still there. Okay. There's even some stones that's in there. Okay. So but we're off to next. We're off to the intake to see how the wheat gets offloaded. Okay. So, uh, Buntu, the trucks that get delivered on site gets um, weighed prior to entering the site, it also gets inspected to make sure that um, the weight as well as um, the condition of the tanker uh, truck is in a good condition. And when the tanker the truck leaves site again, uh, it gets weighed again. So the, the oh, when it's empty? When it's empty again. So, and that gets done because we, we need to make sure that the, the opening mass and the outloading mass is, the difference of, of that is what's actually been delivered on site. Oh, and so that, you minus the weight of the track. That is correct, that okay. is correct. Okay. Okay, so the silo, what exactly happens here? Basically at the silo we take in the wheat that we've purchased and procured throughout the world, including South Africa, mm -hmm. and we make sure that when it, when it enters the site it conforms to certain quality requirements. Alright, so what happens on the first level where we are right now? Um, on the first level what, what actually happens is we, we take out all the impurities that's in the wheat. Okay. okay so we'll start off by taking out first the bigger particulates okay. through a drum sieve and then basically taking out all the, the big pieces of wheat, stones and dust that comes with it. From there, we move on to um, the separator or the, the sans uh, sansive, basically where we take out all the, the fine sand, all the bigger particles that's, that's there, and we clean the wheat. Oh, okay. So from there onwards, we take it into the, the silos, 
prior to entering the silo, we fumigate it, mm -hmm. and then it goes into storage. Okay, so fumigation is safe for people? Fumigation is safe for people. Okay, why do you fumigate anyway? Okay. We fumigate to ensure that there's no pests in the, in the wheat as it comes in. Okay. And it's also to ensure that as it stands inside the silo, it remains clean. This is a combined harvester when the wheat grains are dry. They are harvested using a machine ABs on a combined harvester. The combined cuts, threads, and separates the grain before storing it into a container. Threads is the process of separating the grain from the plant material. Before they combine, farmers would harvest their wheat using a sickle and a seeth, which was extremely time consuming. The combine got its name because it combines three separate functions and enables the farmer to operate more efficiently. So now we're in a section where we add water to the wheat that was cleaned from the silo. Okay. Okay. Um, we add water to the wheat in order to make sure that uh, the wheat is, is properly tempered and conditioned. But also what, it, what tempering does actually, it, it softens up the endosperm and it toughens up the outer layer of, of, the, of the kernel. Okay. Okay. So what you want is the endosperm, the part inside? Yes. The, the reason why we, why we condition is so that we can efficiently separate out the two. Okay. The bran from the endosperm. Alright. Okay, so here we are at the first plug. Um, basically what happens is we, the wheat enters the, the roller stand through a scale, gets weighed off first, it enters the roller stand, and, we, and, and the wheat is basically crushed for the very first time. It's actually a very gentle crush because we, we want to try and keep the, the bran particles flakes as big as possible so that we can expose much more of the endosperm. Cool, where to from here? Let's go down to the, to the plant sifters. Okay. Wow, what are these? It's actually a plant sifter. Mm -hmm. And what a plant sifter does, you'll see that the, the wheat enters from the top. Yeah. Once it's been crushed by the roller stand, the one that I showed you earlier. Yeah. And then after the wheat, is sep or the crushed wheat is basically separated from the bran. Okay. Okay? And that's the nature of a roller mill. It starts with the roller mill and then sieving. Milling and sieving again. It's a repeat of a process. So what I'm showing you now is a is a summary of, of all the different streams mm -hmm. that is available within these plant sifters. Okay. Okay? So you'll see them all the way from first plug all the way to flower. Okay. And you'll see all the different components that makes up the flower that's on top of the shelf. So you'll see that there is the first plug sample, you'll see that there is the semolina, yeah. you'll see that there's the white bread flour, brown bread flour, and the industrial flour. Okay. Okay? The first plug is the conditioned wheat. So okay. it's basically just wheat after it's been cleaned. Okay with motion. Right. Yeah, it feels still quite coarse. Yes. And then the semolina? The semolina is after a series of serving and okay. grinding, you get this, a finer uh, flour coming through at a certain particle size, which we define as semolina. And then from there onwards, it gets processed further. So what would you use semolina for? Semolina particularly we'd use for, for macaroni. Oh, OK. And you get the white bread flour, you get uh, the brown bread flour, and then, of course, the industrial flour. Yeah, white flour is quite fine. And then the brown looks very familiar to the white one. Yes, it does. Um, actually, brown bread flour gets made from white bread flour. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So what's the difference then if it's made from white bread? Right? Brown bread flour is basically just like I said, the white bread flour, yeah. and then all that gets added to it is a little bit of bran, a select bran that comes with it. And then the industrial flour, like why is it called industrial? It's, it's sort of the, the byproduct of, of the mold. Okay. So it doesn't conform to a white bread specification, nor a cake specification. Oh. So that flour gets used basically for, for biscuits. What are some of the uses of wheat? Tiazia, wheat is used to make many, many different types of food, like isinkwa, amakeke, pizza, pasta, and noodles. But what else? Well, it is also used to make alcoholic beverages and industrial alcohol, which turns out to be made into synthetic rubber and explosives. The wheat straw is used for a variety of purposes, from deco items like amameti, amaboskets, to packing materials and kettle bedding, and the brain from the flour miling processes. It turns into livestock feed, and these are just some of the uses of this amazing, versatile crop. And before the combined harvester, I'm under a farmer, your baby, Siga, in wheating is Zanza. Yo, how much time is that? Yo, that's a lot of time. Can you tell any guys what you guys think on our social media? And so we are on Google.
turns. Turns. We're back! Nam gili gili good to you, MZ right here on SBC One. We're live and TV. Oh wow! Most definitely, and today we're talking about a very special plant, the crop top. Of it all, it's going to make new wheat. Kelly, yeah. Have you ever thought of being a farmer? Actually, when I was young, young I come and see say again. I just love the fact that farmers are like out there in the wild with like open spaces. Yeah, that's dope. And for the people who are farming, that's all right. There are many agricultural courses that you can take. Who goes to food there? But the wonderful world of farming and the technologies used. Most definitely, in Yazwa, it's good to know we're all about technology. And I'm still amazed at the flour mill here. I think we should go back and find out more about it. I think we should. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to the lab. Thank you. So what happens here? Okay, so basically what happens here is the lab does all the quality testing for the site. Mm -hmm. They make sure that the raw materials, the wheat coming into the site, conforms to quality. In addition to what the Siloman does, to make sure that uh, all the quality is within standards. Hi okay, guys, news morning or queen buzz keep honey in the mill. I mean it's quite a serious business. Well I hope you guys had a fun experience learning about the science of wheat. And hopefully it'll give you something to think about next time you made that sandwich. Hi Ken Gubuntu Abantolona and this is a mission complete. You know what time it is, Mafet. It's time for the TOMZ quiz. Yes, good to be here. I'm going to So if you want to play with us, all you got to do is catch us on our social media pages. If you guys were paying attention. So I'm going to question, and then you're going to spend it. So I'm going to ask you, is it the green team or the blue team that take it home? Check this out. What's going on, Tamsas? And that's what feels good. You guys are very special to us. And that's why in today's episode, I'm going to share the ETMDs at West Secondary School. Now, one of our favorite is Michelle and the Futsi is ready to have some fun with you guys as we explore the amazing world of science and technology. So, lights, camera, and action. Are you guys ready to experience the ultimate edutainment? Well, let's go. Mama Vera Bafetu now has good TOMZ is all about science and technology. It's figured that I'm going to about science and technology. What comes in my mind is nature. Okay, cool. Very nice, very nice to join in I think it is with the universe. It does go with the universe in China and Zanda. Cool. When you turn into electronics. Yes, very true, very true. We know the old saying, but it's good to knowledge is power, and with power, we can give breath to new future leaders. We handed out some awesome books by Fates that will empower our learners and leave them motivated. Lingwati Lazers can also assist the learners with career guidance and this is the time to be thinking about that because Umetrik by Fetsu is the last grade in high school. Samir Desai interacted with grade 12 learners. We played some awesome games such as and did some cool experiments and had lots of fun. Oh yes, Buffet, to welcome to the TOMZ Quiz Challenge Buffet. To remember that you too can also play along on our social media pages on Facebook. We are TOMZ on Twitter at Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. Namchanje gets to say Tembisa at Tembisa West Secondary School. Now, so bonus got to ban Namchanje Ozoba Umangoba. Which of the following provinces in SA does not produce wheat? A. Gauteng, B. Mpumalanga, C. Limpopo, D. Western K. Press the buzzer if you know the answer right now. Okay, Team A. It's A. A. Cool, so your guys' answer is A. Yes. All right, cool, let's see if that is the correct answer. We tested the knowledge in the TOMZ quiz by fair to win Team A who took it home in the first round. It's A. All right, to give a fair to congratulations to Team A for making it through to our knockout challenge. What is the hard outer covering of the kernel called? A, the endosperm. B, the germ. C, the ectosperm. D, the brand. Press the browser if you know the answer right now. C. Oh, Siswami, unfortunately, that is incorrect. Cool, Siswami, what's your answer? B. And unfortunately, that is incorrect, Siswami. We then moved on to the second round, but fair to where Utembegi Lefak, who actually took it home and knocked out everyone and made it through to the last round to play the speed round master. Now, Putuam, Uziswa Ganjan. Alright, <laughs> 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 the very same pattern when you 
and if we cool on top of a small one. Um, but just this and like a sort of a mover. You have two minutes to do exactly that. So I get Shalin. And your two minutes start up starts right now. Asamba put down Asamba, Samba, 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 Samba. The clock my fair too. Atisya Hamba. <laughs> well, oh no, my fair. So unfortunately, she ran out of time, and Nika Malaki Echoes called with the T O M Z log. Got the ones are in the last part. All right, cool, my guy. What's going on with the Bengal Lab and Kaya in pictures are calling your family? Yeah, I'm going to be in the Bengal Lab and Kaya in pictures are calling your family. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you so much, Falco, for playing, and thank you so much at home for playing along on Facebook and on Twitter. With that being said, but fair to see Busella back to studio. All right, yeah, guys, this is Nkalugoti. Wheat is not only used to make a song. I mean, there are many other things. Decorating items, you know, impair, pa, explosives, amongst many, many other things. Got to get peli na la po. Check this out. Aerophonics, a method of growing wheat in the air, is currently tested by NASA and a group of scientists with the aim of solving the world's food crisis. A new innovation called Terra Tech Risen is a 100% biodegradable plastic made from wheat starch that can be molded into any of current products. If you want to get this, wheat text made from wheat gluten with the same texture as meat will be the solution. Biofiber wheat from previously unused wheat straw is stronger than wood and is rapidly becoming the latest trend in building materials. We can save our forests by using wheat straws instead of trees to manufacture paper and paper based products like plates, boxes, and fast food containers. How dope is that? Oh man, we've come to the end of the show. This is the part that I hate. I hate this part right here. No quite come out of a Facebook. The revolution still carries on on our social media pages. On Facebook, see TOMZ. On Twitter, see Tom's underscore SAPC underscore one. Or if you want to follow me personally, I'm Fresh My Caddy. We can also be contacted through www.tomz.co.za. That's for more information on us. I am Bunda Anoscopy on Instagram, and we are saying goodbye. Damn! Next time on Teenagers on a Mission. So do you know with a young professional was some Zanzi or in the wakeboarding? So tell like about the technology behind cable boarding. Mukelani as he shows us some of the air tricks that got him into the world championships. See for the Gabanzi what wakeboards are made from, 40 what equipment is needed. A wakeboarding yak ala P Ganjani. 40 nini. Nina Naziganga Ganani a wakeboarding 40 no water sports. Ninga kwa tubugere itom, same time, same place, kona lagu SABC1, Zansi, for sure.